What's happening, YouTubeverse? It's your boy, Dark Hilarity. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, where last time we got ourselves a beautiful Ankylosaurus. Beautiful? Yes. High level? No. But would you look at her beautiful, gorgeous body and, I guess, magnificence? I don't even know. She's gorgeous. She looks real cool. I'm happy with her. She's uh, collected us a bunch of metal, which means, which means we are able to... Craft ourselves. Uh, let's go to the structures. The cooking stuff. I've got all the resources we need for this, as well as uh, where am I looking at? Crafting the industrial forge. Finally, uh, I went and I murdered every single penguin <laughs> in the Arctic. That's right. I flew. Uh, let me exit here. I flew up all the way up over here, and I murdered every single penguin on all of these islands. I feel kind of bad about it, and that's why I didn't include it in the video. Is because it was a it was a massacre, but that's fine. The first thing I want to start with this episode is we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft ourselves the industrial forge. Now I'm curious if it's a massive giant machine like it was last time. I hope it's a little smaller, but we'll see. Because I don't have enough cooked metal right now to uh, make up this bad boy here. We're going to need like another 550-ish uh, metal. But our Ankylosaurus over here is fully stocked to be able to give us another like 525 ingot. And then, of course, we've got Vesper here, who's got another 1,600 raw metal inside of her. So let's go ahead and see if we can place this. Oh, it's freaking massive again. All right, well, this bad boy, unfortunately, cannot go in the house. So what are we going to do about that? Hmm. What are we going to do about that? I guess we're going to have to make a platform for it or something. Uh, where do I want to make a platform for it? Hmm, I need to think about this for a minute. Okay, well, I think about that. Uh, I've also been preparing a whole bunch of... Uh, let's come over here. A whole bunch of gunpowder. All right, let's start crafting up some more. For more ammunition, I've also crafted up a bunch of ammunition. We have 171 shotgun shells currently. And uh, yeah, we can craft a whole bunch more, especially once we get that metal cooked. <laughs> We're going to be doing shotgunning all the time. Um, the, the goal for today's episode is I want to go out. I want to get a baryonyx. Now, I've seen a bunch of baryonyx kind of up over here. I've even seen some down over here. Uh, I know they're going to be pretty easy because we can find them anywhere it's swampy, all the way along these rivers, all the way along here, and I've seen a bunch of them. I haven't really seen any high-level ones, but I have seen a bunch. So I want to get one. I mean, it doesn't need to be the highest level, but, it, you know, I need it to get into caves, and I think it would be good to get silica pearls to get into the water and, and be able to get silica pearls, uh, having a, you know, semi-aquatic dino. Um, the reason why I want um, silica pearls is because we need to... Not in here. Where am I looking? I'd be under crafting. Is I need some electronics. 250 electronics to be able to craft up the uh, chemistry bench, which is going to help us with gunpowder and all the stuff moving forward in the future. And then, uh, you know, once we get all those things done and we're running caves and stuff, I think we're going to be looking at a base expansion. We might need to move or we might need to figure something out because, um, yeah, I need a place to store dinos, right? Um, also, <laughs> this is pretty funny. Come over here and show you guys this. I had five dung beetles, right? And we only see four. Why is that? Because one of them is right here in the ground. Where is he? There he is. Somehow he's under our feet. He's in the ground down below. I don't understand it. Poor little guy. At least he's a low level one. But uh, yeah, we're losing out on a bit of oil and fertilizer with him being down there. I don't know what the deal with that is. I hope they uh, fix dinos falling through the floor and stuff. But what do you do? He can't be helped. Okay, let me think about um, what are we going to do with this industrial forge? Right, I'm thinking like dino storage is going to be over here. We're going to have like a big dino storage breeding facility because the babies just kind of seem to wander around once they're born. And also I have PVP on on the server for killing the babies. And when you hit them, they run away now. So that is a thing. I don't remember if they ever did that before, but they do that now. And there are a couple of full grown um, Islas roam in the woods. I mean, they might have died from starvation by now, but they were unclaimed and I tried to kill them and they ran into and got lost in the grass and yep, they're gone. So uh, I don't know. They might be roaming around or they might be dead due to starvation. I have no idea. But um, I guess we're going to have to get a pad sorted out. Where do I want to put it? I want to keep it close to base here. So maybe we extend the porch out this direction. Although the tree is here. Do we need the tree here? It does cause a lot of issues with shadows. I think we get rid of it. I think we get rid of this big tree. It's kind of sad, but yeah, there we go. It's gone. And uh, oh my gosh, it looks so empty here. But we should be able to extend the porch. Maybe if we pull up these railings here, we'll get rid of this stuff and we'll just extend this out as like a little, uh, I don't know, 
gazebo type area. Oh, I can't jump up there now. Let me let me craft up some foundations and stuff and see what we can do here. Okay, so I crafted up some stuff. Here's what I'm thinking we're gonna do here. If I grab the uh, ceilings, and I know we need three wide for the industrial forge to mount up on. Um, we're also gonna have to add some pillars down in here just to support this thing. Well, let's go put our pillars kind of there. Oh, they still stick up, eh? Can I, um, can I put them underneath some other way? I don't want you sticking up through my floors, bro. Cut it out. Well, maybe it's fine. Maybe we can bring the pillars up or incorporate them into like the railings or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let's put another one. Um, let's add a couple more floors on here. Not those ones, these ones. Um, and then go a little wider. I need to run around this way to get up there. Okay, so it comes out a bit. Let's put down the forge here. Uh, we need you to uh, rotate a little bit. Thinking maybe there. Have it face this way. That's a decent distance out, which means we're going to need to add a couple more foundations or a couple more floors up behind it here. Just to support that. Um, let's go ahead and throw down a couple more pillars. Um, yeah, I guess here's fine. We can put one or maybe two back here on this supporting the back end of it and then have one more here and uh, maybe I can jump up right here. Oh, yes, we can. And then I also went ahead and I grabbed these triangle ceilings. Now, let's see if we can make something funky in terms of like shapages around here. Just kind of where it comes out a bit further so we have an area to walk around, right? And then we'll bring it back around this way. This might be not working the way that I want it to work here. <laughs> um, triangle ceiling, yep. So if I put you here, you're not going to come around this corner properly and you're going to look kind of goofy. But that's fine, actually. What we can do is we can pick this back up and i um, going to need to craft... No, I got three more. We can actually just throw these back here. We'll move those pillars too. And then, yeah, same thing. We'll just continue on with these bad boys. And it gives it a bit of a unique shape, I guess. A little more room kind of to walk around the industrial forge. And then I'm thinking we can... We're going to have to move those pillars out too. Okay, good to know. Um, and here we can go ahead and use like the railings. One here. Oh, yes, I love that. And do you know what? Actually, we're going to put the uh, stairs back down here. Um, right there. That's fantastic. So we still have a way to get all oh, the water things here. Um, yeah, let's move that. Pick up the water tank. Maybe will it fit underneath? I guess we could put it up top. You could put it right on like the balcony. No, I don't like that. I don't like it. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have it here, just off kind of in like the corner in the edge there. Okay, I like that. That's not too bad. That's a good That's a good place for it. And then we'll just go on and finish up our railings all the way around. Uh, I'll, I'll pick those up after. It's fine. Just to get a general idea of what we're doing and what we're, we're planning here for in terms of... Uh... Oh, I'll finish this layout later. I like the way it looks. Uh, again, we're going to have to move the pillars. I don't like that. But I think this is pretty cool. We walk outside of our house, boom, there's the big industrial forge. <laughs> okay, we gotta try this bad boy out. Let's go ahead and uh, I think we should be able to ride our Anki up those stairs to bring him right over there. I mean, I guess we can move him with the, uh, with our um, Argentavis. Nah, he's good, he fits, perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, pull the metal out of him. We're gonna drop it in here. Uh, also, I should probably put this stuff in like the fridge. And uh, get him down. I'll put some gasoline in there and we'll be good to go. Okay, I like this. I like how it looks. It's all its all completed. I moved everything. I moved all the pillars off to the side. Oh, apparently, I missed picking up this one. Grab that. Uh, I like the overall shape of it. It looks pretty good. It's a perfect forging location. Let's go ahead and drop some fuel in here. We'll turn it on. And uh, yeah, we'll just get this stuff cooking. I'm hoping it cooks fairly quickly because I mean, obviously, why is this guy sticking through the wall? Oh my gosh. Now we're gonna have to move that, but 
we have how much of this stuff do we have here let's see pop it all back in uh we got 621 and that's not where i wanted to go in order for us to get the cooking thing i think we need 300 yeah 300 polymers so i guess we're good for a bit we just need another 600 metal ingot and uh yeah we're good to go have you been doing stuff oh you've been doing stuff fantastic got our forge cooking it's cooking up the metal oh it feels so good we're gonna be able to start working on metal bases and stuff <laughs> all right so what do i want to do i want to i want to make some bear traps just the regular size bear traps that's going to be fine for the baryonyx let's take with us uh let's do like 15 just in case i ran out pretty quick before i think i was accidentally spamming them when we were uh, hunting for thylas so yeah we'll make a few extras and then uh, yeah we're gonna head out and um tame ourselves up at baryonyx hopefully we can find something good or a couple something's good because i'd really love to be able to get an imprinted one um that would make my life a whole lot easier having the extra resistance and damage is obviously going to help out a lot especially in the caves but um yeah it's baryonyx day i don't have any prime fish meat but i got a decent amount of actual fish meat so i'm going to take that stuff with me um i mean i guess we can use the baryonyx to get prime fish meat at some point but yeah not right now obviously having kibble would be best um for sure but we don't have any kibble i think we're gonna have to tame you tyrannosaurus to get the ud eggs the females producing us some uh, eggs i'm thinking oh man it, why is it always so friggin hot all the time i'm always drinking always thirsty Give me some more how's my water canteen it's good okay do we need anything else so i've got narcotic right i've got a whole bunch of trank arrows got fish meat i got bear traps i think that's all we need i think that's pretty much it I think we're gonna what time is it right now it is uh yeah it's almost in the evening but uh nighttime moves pretty quick so it's not a big deal I think we're gonna take shadow I've been chomping at the bit to, to use shadow we haven't really had the opportunity to so let's get in here let's give her a couple more levels um one in stamina and the rest we're just straight going melee I think we'll probably go melee from this point forward with her but yeah, from what uh, from what I was reading on Reddit, I guess you can't really take Thylas into most of the caves because they're too big. So that's unfortunate. So I don't want to get to the Chitin Cave and realize, oh wait, never mind, we can't take Shadow or any of our other Thylas because they don't fit. We're just gonna go straight to Baryonyx. That way we can bang out some caves because I would really love to do Broodmother soon. Um, you know, I obviously want to ascend on Alpha if possible um, before the release of the expansion scorched earth or whatever whatever they're releasing next right ah uh, you know what capros what's that what is that it's a capro <laughs> oh right away there was a capro that's crazy at least i could do a crazy amount of damage oh there's a berry right there oh berry what level are you 24 dude are you serious right now all right let's um i guess let's shoot him bring them over here i don't want to be stunned so i'm not going in the water come on little buddy and uh yeah we'll just assassinate every single one we come across that isn't a decent enough level for us to tame minimum i want over 100 but uh obviously you know 180 would be uh would be best but uh, let's get into this you know it also might be worth getting a frog at some point just for the for the chitin in the chitin cave and stuff hmm they're pretty easy to tame too just knock them out give them some food okay we got a sarco incoming we do a decent amount of damage. I'm not really worried about anything when I'm on the Thylos. <laughs> They're so beasty. Um, obviously Capros, but I can hop back on right away. As long as I attack the Capro right before they hit me, I think we'll be okay. If I see them coming. Most of the time you don't even see them coming. <laughs> because they're annoying like that. Uh, what was that running? It was a Dillo. For a second I was like, is that a Denonicus? There's no way. All right, that's, I've only seen the one berry so far, so uh, yeah, we might be on a hunt for a bit. Oh God, there's an Alpha Carno. I definitely do not think we can fight an Alpha Carno. <laughs> well, what level is it? It is, turn around here. Alpha Carno is level 18. Let's try, we can always run it from it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Let me on. Oh, uh, no. Come on. Frickin' micro raptors, dude. Stop attacking me. Leave me alone. Oh. Micro raptors. I hate them. I hate them. Messing up all my plans. Okay, we're done. We gotta go around the other way because uh, too much action over here. 
too many alphas, stuff like that, that, uh, that could have got disastrous real quick. <laughs> I hate micro raptors. Why are micro raptors even a thing in this game? Oh, honestly, that almost got, uh, that almost was really bad. We could have lost shadow. We could have died. If that, uh, alpha carno was coming at us right at that moment that that micro raptor got us, <laughs> it would have been a bad day. This adventure would have been cut real short. I'm thinking we're going to sneak around. I've had pretty good luck seeing Baryonyx up in here, so I think we're going to follow this way, but we're going to cross to this side. I don't think we're going to have micro raptors over here. I don't want to see them. I don't want to play with them. They're not my friends. Okay, what do we have here? We have ourselves a Baryonyx. We got level 60. Is that a second one? Oh, level 102. A 102 and a level 60. Hmm. Uh, might be uh, difficult to try to get them. If we can lure this one over here. This is the level 60. Then we might get that 102. Come here. Come get me. Maybe I'll shotgun it. There we go. A little shotgun love. Come on over this way, big fella. And then we can lure over the other one. Let me drop a uh, bear trap. We're going to put a bear trap down right about here and then let's see if i can see where that other berry went the way over there i can't even tell it just disappeared okay there it's a, way over there now i don't think seriously all right i want to see if i can uh since i'm stuck in this trap for god knows how long i want to see if i can possibly uh hit the baryonyx what is that that's a snake if I can hit it and make it come to me. I got it. Okay. Oh, he's coming. I hope I'm far enough away. Uh, you need to be on a uh, passive, bud. Oh, I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, no. This was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Okay. Uh, neutral. Attack. Fight. Fight. <laughs> Save me. Save your master. What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? Are they both stuck? Oh no! Come on, fight it! Fight it, you idiot! Kill it! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh, this is going good. This is going good. Well, I guess we're gonna wait here and uh, hopefully I don't die. I seem to be stuck inside of uh, shadow here. I don't know how much time is left on this uh, bear trap. Oh, quite a bit of time, and I can't get myself out. I think it's PvP, unless there's some way I can destroy them, but uh, I have yet to find it. Uh, can you back up, Shadow? Oh my gosh, I guess I'm gonna be here for a while. Well, a snake attacked me. Luckily, Shadow had my back. Now I'm wondering, if I pass out, is that gonna release me from the bear trap? I don't know how to get out of this thing. Look, I never claimed to be good at Ark, okay? I just like to play it. Am I good at it? No, I don't think so, I'm terrible. I make mistakes like this all the time. Oh, I'm unconscious, perfect. Maybe when I wake up, I'll be released from the trap. You know, could you be trapped and unconscious at the same time? We're gonna find out. I mean, I guess it works for dinos. Why wouldn't it work for me? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, still trapped. Okay, well, we're gonna wait this out. We're uh, almost halfway, so that's fantastic. I wish Shadow would help me out and attack it. <laughs> that's not good. There's the leech uh, currently sucking blood directly out of my heart and I'm still stuck in this bear trap. Oh my goodness, we, well, we don't have much longer. As long as I can make a fire, I think we'll be okay. Um, I can't even fix it to demolish it. Oh goodness. Ah, oh, finally, we're free. Okay, we need uh, we need some thatch, we need some flint, and we need some stone. Let's make a quick uh, campfire real quick. Save ourselves from uh, imminent death because of this leech. Take a little bit of damage. From stepping on the fire but yeah that's okay we're fine let's uh burn this stupid leech off there we go leech is done heal up you can demolish this campfire now uh i didn't want to pick it up i want to demolish it there we go get back on shadow and uh yeah back on to what we were doing before why can't i why can't i ride you i want to ride shadow why can't i get on her oh she's got a leech on her too oh my gosh there we go perfect now i definitely need to uh heal up before i encounter another baryonyx 
So I'm just gonna run. We're going to head over to this river over here. I think it's gonna be a little safer. We're not gonna have as much swamp creatures and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll go a little bit smoother because it's already a friggin' disaster. Sometimes they like to hang out over here too, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Let's bury over there by that spino. What level are you, my little friend? Uh, there was a berry over here. It's probably on the other side fighting the spino. Do they fight spinos? I don't know. What's that? Is that a turtle? Yeah, it's a turtle. We don't need no turtles. We only need baryonyx. Oh, there's a T-Rex over here too. Fantastic. I know I just saw a baryonyx here a moment ago. Oh, is that him? Parasaur baby. Level 12 T-Rex. We got raptors. We got a female spino. Ah, there was a baryonyx here just a second ago. It was white. It was right here. Hmm. I guess it ran away. Okay, which way do we want to go? We're way over here now. I guess we check up over here. Maybe this river here might have some. I don't know. I don't know where that one went. It might have died, I guess. Hmm. Okay, we're back in the swamp. We got a 132. I'll take him. I would love a 132. Is, that, is there a snake back there fighting stuff? Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of the snake. We're going to clear the danger from the eminent area. We're not gonna have any mishaps like last time. And then we're gonna knock him out like right here. In this general vicinity. So let's, um, I better lure him before I drop the trap just to make sure I don't have any issues. He's currently walking away from us. Uh, can I peg him in his butt? Not with that arrow. Oh, my accuracy sucks. Oops. <laughs> I got the Dilo. It's not what I wanted to get. Okay, the Baryonyx is here. That didn't get him? No. Oh, you're still on uh, messing things up. Okay, wait, you'd be on passive, bud. And... Oh, what's happening? Leg? Oh, the naturally, there's a freaking leech. I'm leeched now. Uh, leeches. All right, I'll be fine for a bit. Let's see if we can get this. Look at all these leeches. Actually, that's good. I need leech blood for antidotes. So uh, you guys keep on coming. That's fine with me. Now, where'd this Baryonyx go? He's way over there now. Um, hmm. How am I going to attract him to me? Is the real question. I guess, you know what? I should make another campfire and get this stupid leech off of me. All right, where did this Baryonyx go? What's that? I thought I would see things moving around. Where's his head? This way, okay. I'm hoping maybe I can just tank him on uh, on the Thyla. See if Shadow's got what it takes, but first we gotta find out where the heck it went. Uh, there's a Capro. Capro! Dude, let go of me. Just put me down, stupid Capro. Uh, I think that's the Baryonyx right there. That's one. He's up on land. All right, let's clear everything around here. Get him all killed and see if uh, while he's on land, we can still get him. Uh, I don't want to get too close to him. Oh, shit, he's coming. I mean, shoot. <laughs> I swore. Oh, no. You know what? We'll just uh, we'll tank him. He's not too strong. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hop off and deal with this guy. We'll let Shadow uh, tank him. That's fine. I don't know if he's gonna Torpor run, but this is working pretty good. Shadow, you're doing great, bud. You got the health. You got like 9, 10k health. You're gonna be okay. Oh, ah! Coming for me! He's coming for me! Go to sleep, little friend. Come on, you coming home with me, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, he's down. We got him. We got him. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh... I'm in combat. Who am I in combat with? What am I in combat with? Nothing. Just residual combat music. Totally fine. All right. Let's, um... Pop this food in. Here's some fish meat for you, little buddy. You tame up. And, uh, yeah, we will get him home. Get a saddle on him. 
and take him out for a little bit of a test drive. Uh, is that a female or a male? You are... You're a male. Okay, we haven't taped too many males this season in anything, so that's uh, super exciting. Maybe we'll get lucky, we'll find a female too, and then we can uh, we can breed them. That would be best case scenario. Oh, heck yeah, it would. There's a rhino natha over there, right there. Oh, what level is it? You are level 24. You know what, I bet you even at level, oh, there's another Baryonyx right there too. You're 12, okay, well, we're not even, we're not even entertaining the idea of that Baryonyx or the Rhino Natha. We are not prepared for taming a Rhino Natha just yet. I mean, even though it's level 12, it probably is still pretty powerful. Rhino Natha are pretty OP. While we're waiting for this guy, we're gonna do a little self-plugging action. That Rhino Natha's coming like <laughs> straight this way. Oh my gosh, are they super aggressive? I don't even know. Is it an adult? uh yeah it's an adult okay i wonder if you can find babies oh how amazing would that be but self plug time if you guys like the oh my god it's coming over here if you guys like the video uh yeah i think about smashing that like button it really does help out the channel if you dislike it and hit the dislike button that's cool too uh also uh if you're not yet subscribed you want more content just like this and other content and stuff i mean our complaint pretty heavily right now but i do play other games Smash that subscribe button, then hit that bell. You're gonna be notified on when my new videos drop. Also, channel memberships are open. Uh, you know, join the Discord if you want to. Uh, lowest tier membership is 99 cents. Everything would go towards the channel, improving hardware, all that kind of good stuff. Um, as well as, uh, you know, the highest tier, if you if you join membership at the highest tier, survival god level, uh, you're gonna get access to this exact server here. We've already got a community member playing on the server. He's based up, I believe, somewhere over here. We've got uh, one community one community member playing on the server with us here. And, uh, you know, the more the merrier. Maybe we could do boss fights together. Maybe we could run caves together. I'm down for all of it, you guys. So, yeah, fantastic. Um, let, you know, and if you guys like the content, any suggestions you might have, go ahead, drop a comment or join the Discord. Like I said, link on my channel page. This guy's almost tamed up. 68.8%. We only got a little ways to go. It looks like he's going to lose a couple of levels, 98.2% with the raw fish we're feeding him, but we don't have access to prime fish yet. So uh, yeah, there we go. And I know, you know, it's kind of annoying to self plugs, things like that in the, in the channels and in the, or in the videos and stuff, but it has to be done, man. Some people, you know, don't hit the like button or don't subscribe unless, uh, you know, they hear it. So, um, you know, I just want the channel to keep growing, keep doing well. It's doing fantastic right now. So yeah. No, sorry about that. Just gotta do it just like everyone else. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Well, bring you guys back once this guy's tamed up and then we're gonna get out of the swamp, take him home, see what kind of damage he can do. Um, unless, man, maybe we'll find a female on the way home. I don't know, I hope so. Just one more feeding and uh, he's gonna pop up. I think he's gonna come out at like 196, maybe 195 if it goes down a little bit, but I'm thinking he's gonna be about 196. Um, I guess I was wrong. I guess it's two feedings left on him. Oh, it's so beautiful at nighttime. I want to get out of here because that Rhino Natha worries me. I don't, you know, I, I've never actually encountered them in the wild before, so I don't know how strong they are, but uh, I think they're like Giga tier, right? Or, or Rex tier or whatever, but they're, they're super powerful, whatever they are. This guy's almost there. Oh, I'm so excited. There we go. We got our Baryonyx. Let's just put him on passive. He can keep following us. 196. Yeah, that's fantastic. Maybe we'll have a little looky-poo at... Um, at his stats so what do we got here so we're looking at 340 uh, percent melee damage i guess that's not bad 3500 health that could definitely be better for sure but uh we'll take what we can get for now his stamina looks pretty good like 1900 so that's pretty good just gonna have a little drinky poo out of the water here drinky poo I'm picking berries i'm not drinking give me a drink of the water there we go have a couple snacks all right let's get this baryonyx home we're gonna head this way Maybe we stumble upon a beautiful female, but uh, I'm not keeping my hopes up on it. That would be cool if we could. Even if it's a little bit lower level, I can just, you know, breed. We have pretty good breeding rates, so I can breed till I get the stats that I want. But uh, I guess we'll see. All right, we got Barry home. Barry the Baryonyx. You know what? That's actually going to be his name. Let's, uh, you can just stop. Perfect. Yeah, you all stop. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and, well, you know what? We're not actually, we're not going to name this one. We're not going to name this one. Uh, but I do want to put a saddle on her, on him. Let's go ahead and make ourselves missing my pants and everything. Oh my goodness gracious. Now I'm pretty sure that I have not yet unlocked the Baryonyx saddle. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, grab that. And then I believe this is something I can just craft in my own inventory. Oh, maybe not. 
think it actually has to just be done in here. So um, we'll go ahead and just search a baryonic saddle. Boop, craft one of those. We're actually going to craft uh, three of them because I do want to get a female sorted out here. Um, I have a bunch of garbage in my inventory now, don't I? Let's toss all this stuff out. I did find a beaver dam and I did uh, take all of the beaver dam things. I don't need that either or this or this. Okay, perfect. Uh, what I also want to do is let's come out here and uh, how's our metal cooking situation going? Done! <laughs> Can I carry uh, 600 of that? No, but I'm going to toss it in. There we go. That's enough resources for this bad boy. Oh, caves are about to get super easy for us, folks. Yep, that is uh, definitely going to be a super easy thing for us to do now. Well, I don't, you know what? <laughs> let's not jink it. Jinx it. Let's not say super easy. It's going to be easier than it has been, right? Uh, let me just drop off all this garbage. Okay, perfect. Um, our saddles also should be ready. So let me uh, yoink one of those. And this bad boy should be done crafting. So let me yank that out of there. Now, the reason why I wanted the industrial cooker is uh, let's get snapping going on here. We'll put you right here in front of that. Are you glitching through the stairs? No, you're fine. Perfect. Because I think now uh, it doesn't require... What does it require here? Uh, advanced, so it requires gasoline or power to be activated. And uh, it has water, right? Yeah, it's irrigated too because it's within the wall of our water. Which means we should be able to craft up these and these significantly faster. Uh, not energy brew. That, uh, would it be under... We can craft kibble in here. Yeah, that's cool. Consumables. Foods. It's not food. I want... I can't craft antidotes in here? Bro, are you kidding me? Uh, okay, well, that's fine. I can continue to craft and At least we can cook stuff and kibble and everything like that. But I guess we can use this for cooking the antidotes for now. I bet you it's in the chemistry bench. Uh, that's super unfortunate. I wasn't really expecting it, but that's fine. Uh, it's been a while since I played, so what do you do? Uh, let's pop the saddle on here. Oh, yeah, it's been so long since I've ridden a Baryonyx. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. I love it so much. But you know what, guys? I'm going to wrap this episode up here. In between this episode, and I can't even see myself, it's so dark. In between this episode and the next episode, I am definitely going to tame a uh, female Baryonyx. I'm going to do some breeding. Because next episode, I want to go into the Chitin Cave. Uh, I want to get that bad boy done, so I'm gonna I'm gonna gather up some more um, leech. Whoa, the redness! What was all that? But I'm gonna gather up some more uh, leech blood, and because um, we're gonna need quite a bit more than we have here, we've only got 76. And then I'm gonna craft up more antidotes. And yeah, if you guys again, if you liked the episode, please do smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, think about smashing that subscribe button, then hit that bell. That way you're going to be notified on when new videos go live. Thanks for coming out, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. And we will see you next time. Peace.